Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. What are we waiting for? The lousy first son of the king. Why, why are we waiting for him? Apparently, he's uh, spearheading the school project. Oh, I see. Any luck? Father, his phones are switched off. Uh, my king, I suggest we continue with the meeting, seeing that the prince is uh, occupied with more important matters. We wait for him. But, my king... We wait for him, Chigozir. Yes, my king. So, this was not the plan. The plan just changed. You know what? Just put yourself together. Stay in there and keep quiet. Oh, oh shit. shit. Are you okay? Whose car is parked outside? Car? I don't know what you're talking there about. There is a black SUV parked outside. Who owns it? Oh, that car. <laughs> it's the Amadis. He got it as a surprise for his wife and he pleaded with me to keep it here so as not to spoil the surprise. Do you think I'm hiding something from you? I don't know. You tell me. Okay. My king. She goes here. Please consider my suggestion. The prince has not arrived. I went through a great deal of trouble getting this engineer and his team down here. Stalling meetings without cogent reasons is not good for my reputation. All I am saying here is that this man came from the city where time is revered as a commodity. They don't waste it. Remind me to consider your reputation when next I have to wait for my son. But, my king. When my father first discussed the possibility of a special school project, I sorted some ideas. We too are the results of months of research on the best Montessori structures across the world. It includes uh, site images, interviews, budget summaries. In fact, it's a wholesome report. Also attached to it, are prototype designs suggested by a few of my friends who are great architects. Father. Engineer, what do you think? Your Majesty, this is an impressive work. I mean, if I had clients that could do this most of our projects would have been finished on time. This 
This is an impressive work, Your Majesty. Very impressive. <coughs> this is good work. Well done, Prince Nord Alisa. Thank you, Chief. Tell me. I'm not uh, hiding anything from you. Uh, let me go if you don't have anything. I am not going. I'm not holding you. They say we set. What are you doing? What is all this? Is it now a crime to kiss my own husband? I am no fool woman. There is guilt written all over your face. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> My friends, yes, so what do I with this order? Nothing. I would like to speak with you privately. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Oh, please come in, my friends. <laughs> Let's talk outside. Let's My talk friends. outside. Uh, there's this business. There's a land in Umo Okelu. Okay. It happens that your grandfather owns it. Okay. And I'm interested in that land. I need it. My friends, the land is yours. <laughs> <laughs> you did not need to come to my house. <laughs> you have just called me. I'll come to the palace. Okay. Mm, I needed to come because I respect people a lot. I'm a man of my word. My so friends. I don't like I don't like oppressing people. My friends, the land is yours. Okay. Just let me know when you're ready. Uh, by next week I should start doing something there. Okay. I will give you five million. Oh my <laughs> Five million. Five million for you and your family. My friends. <laughs> Thank you. You're a good man. Thank you, my friends. And I really appreciate it. No problem, my friends. That no will be all for now. All right, my friends. My regards to family. No problem. I'll do that. Yeah. Thank you, my friends. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Same. <laughs> all right, my friends. I'll be done. Okay, my friends. I'll do that, my friends. Well done, bro. I should compensate this your favor soon. Father is not really happy with you, brother. Ah, he never has. Sadly, he never will. And you know that you are supposed to oversee a meeting this morning. 
Oh, 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 shoot. The meeting with the engineers? Yes. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. Oh. And father made everyone wait. He's not really happy with you, brother. Okay, but did the meeting still hold? Yes, it did. Oh, man, now I have to find a way to appease him. Shoot, Jiden now. Oh. Dude, do you have anything like gum, sweets, or anything? No, no. You lose around here. I don't. <laughs> wow, woo! Oh, that. <laughs> I'm getting married soon, brother. For real? Yes. You're on a roll here, man. First, it was master's degree, and now marriage. Man, you've always had a heart for big adventures. Thank Guy, you. I'm proud of you. Ah, ah. Nah, eh. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I think you should also consider getting married soon. Nah, marriage? Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see my father. This is a bad time. He doesn't want to see you. Well, I heard he's been pissed at me all morning. I just need to clear things with him. You can't just go in. Wait. He's really angry at you, Jidema. Okay. I'll go in first. Make sure he's calm and ready to speak to you. Just wait for my signal, okay? All right, all right, I'll just wait here. to see my first son become a man. No, Balikwano. Yeah? You are doing the best that you can. All attempts to make him become half as responsible as I want him to be ends up as a blow to my heart. Keep in the secret. Eh? Your Highness. Maybe you are putting all your eggs in one leaky basket. What do you mean? Prince Ulisa. He's eager to prove to you just how much of a man he has become. Please, my king, just give him a chance. I, I dare say he deserves a shot at those opportunities that Jidina keeps throwing away. Did Jidina is my first son. If stalking him till he grows up, it's a cross I bear till I die. I painfully will. I'm not giving up on him. for you. How is he? Why don't you find out yourself? Right. Hi, Dad.
You know, I'm desperate to know what goes through your mind when you deliberately shim the throne publicly. Do you even think about your late mother and how burdened her heart will be at your misbehavior? I'm sorry, Dad. Uh, I promise to do better. I do not need you to be sorry, Jidena. I need you to be a prince for once. You are the future king of this kingdom. A noble reputation is the least requirement. I need you to bring home a wife. Yes. That will be the ultimate proof that you are willing to do better with your life. Dad. I'm not ready for marriage. You don't know the depth of a river by standing at the banks, Jidena. Then why do I have to enter a river that's presumably deep and could drown me? Jidena, don't test me. Don't test me. There are good girls littered everywhere. Find one and marry her. That's a hoax, Dad. That's a hoax. There are no good girls anywhere. That's because you've been stuck in the den of foolish ones. Come out and see the light. Hey, hey. remember the lunch tomorrow. Don't be late. Call me when you get home, my love. Love you. Ah, hey, bro. You must really love this girl to want to marry her. Sure. She makes me happy. <laughs> happy. Explain this happiness. Well, it's simply knowing that whatever happens, this person has your back. Mm. And so, same. That's a lean hope to hold on to, don't you think? <sighs> it's still that lean, but as they go by, we need to work tirelessly to make it work. It gets stronger. Brother, love is a hard work. And marriage smells like hell. It can be heaven as well if you want. <sighs> Dad wants me to get a wife. Wow! <laughs> Finally, someone sees what I see. Holy sir, please. You all should keep all of that sentiment to yourselves. Huh? Because marriage is not going to change me in any way. I will change for myself by myself. But it can speed up the process. Holy sir. Brother. <laughs> Do you want some of this? No, I don't want it. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you better just keep your mouth shut because there's no way anybody will force me into hell with my two eyes wide open. What are you afraid of? Ah, uh, you want some of this, have you? <laughs> no, I don't no, 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 but seriously, what are we talking marriage for, guy? There's more to life now, crews and girls and all of that. You know these things now. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. My man, don't. How far? When I do, I do nothing much, just low key. Ah, don't. I beg. I beg not today. See, I have this thing for tomorrow morning that I can't be late for. Mm, it's a lunch for a school. Ah. I thought she traveled. Ah! Oh, don't, don't, don't. Kill it, nah. How far? Hi. Nah, eh. Okay, now, no, hala, no, hala.
um, in reference to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, we... My king, my chiefs, the representative is fine, but the prince's insensitive misdeeds is one he has promised never to forget. And sincerely from all indications, that has put us in a really disgraceful position. I suggest here we relieve Prince Jidena of any duty regarding this project. Believe me, you will agree that he has done enough harm. I feel so stupid. Did he not? It was an accident. And it could have happened to anybody. Oh, Lisa, no, no, don't do that. Don't flatter me. What has happened has happened. It cannot be undone. So you have to settle it with yourself. Maybe I should leave town, run away and never return. That will break that's heart. But I can't hurt him if I'm not around him. My prince, the What's king happening? just fainted. What? He narrowly escaped the stroke. Stroke? Yes. But as you can see now, he's very much calm. He just needs to take a bed rest for a while, away from all the noise. I have a kingdom to rule. And the kingdom needs you alive, my king. I need to speak to my son. Thank you. I need to speak to Jidena alone. I'm so sorry. I, I, I just need you to make me a promise. Anything that I, I promise, I'll do anything. Anything. Consider what we discussed. You will be 35 next month. Yeah. Find a wife and marry her. Uh, I, I promise, I promise that uh, I'll get a wife. 
I am not sure how much longer I have left on this earth. I will get a wife, Dad. Gather around everyone. You can't greet. You guys won't greet. Get back to work, guys. No. You revoke my orders. With the best interest of the work at heart. Yes, I did. We have a deadline to beat, and I don't want you messing up our schedule. Do you know who I am? I directly report to the king and chief Chigozi, not the man who crashed an event half drunk. Excuse me, please. Hey, hey, come back here. Come back. Here. Now, listen and listen good. I do not owe you an apology whatsoever. And if you still want your job on this site, the least you owe me as the crown prince of this kingdom is the courtesy of respect. Is that clear? Now, gather around everyone. Now. Excuse me. I'll do what I asked you to do, yeah? And whenever I come here, you have to respect me. I do not see anybody's face, okay? okay. Is that clear? Exhausting. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of drama at the airport. As usual. <laughs> As usual. Coming after you turn all of them. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to my kingdom. <laughs> Let's go. This way. Thank you. What is your name? Monachi Oboshi, Your Highness. She speaks well. Yes, Father. <laughs> Father. Hmm. She's the woman I've chosen to marry. Amazing. She has the charm of a princess. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you, Your Highness. 
You know, you share a striking resemblance with my late wife, Olisa's mother. Her smile always lit up the room. <laughs> Please excuse us for a minute. I'd like to speak with my son alone. proud of your choice and I approve of her. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> but you both can't get married just yet. And why is that, if I may ask? It is a taboo and it puts a risk on the kingdom if a second child marries before the first. It's nothing to brood over, Olisa. It is tradition. And it has consequences when it is disregarded. Why do I always have to bear the brunt of Jidenna's inadequacy? When do I ever get to exercise my privileges as a prince? As your own son. Well, Dad. What happened? Your Highness, what is this I hear? What did you hear? that the kingdom is at risk of jeopardy if Ulisa weds a wife before Jidenna. That is preposterous. Where did you hear that? I traced the source to this very bedroom. That is why I'm here. The, the, the only thing that is strange in this bedroom is a sick king who can't even wash his own backside. Ah! Yes. What's ah, ah! Are you okay? Please, inst instruct the maid to cook me some of these pain herbs. Okay, okay. Ah. I'll, I'll do that right away. Oh, so, 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 so. Hey, right away. Ah. Ah.
Odogu Akataka Gaga no go. I'm not a web one at any. Oggy be king quabba. Dicana, what is hey? What about your daughter? I need you to give me some more time. This thing is getting more difficult than I expected. How do I get there now? I get married before he starts to feel so that I do not die like an animal. How do I stop Olisa from not getting married before his older brother so that they both do not die in their youth? Odogu, I'm going to get my mom. If you want to hear me, you will see me. It's a good thing. And my yogi begun. And my yogi begun. Meron can fool my cock and hat home warm. Well done. Well done. Hey. Here to mouth off your brother though again. Here to talk. You've been doing that since morning. Just hear me out. Hmm? I'm sorry about earlier today. My tone was harsh and condescending. For that, I apologize. Can we start afresh? Friends? Come on. The man you puked on, that was my father. So you see, we can never be friends. Good night, your highness. This is uh, Chief Chigos here. Yeah? I know. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Where are you now? I'm just heading home from work. Okay. Um, I learned your father is forcing you to get married. Oh, see, listen, let me tell you. Don't allow anybody to force you to do what you don't want to do. Okay, sir. These old-fashioned approaches to parenting, they don't belong to this generation. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Be good. <laughs> All right. Huh? A joke? I wish it was. Babe, this is 21st century, and your father is well schooled to believe these fallacies. He calls it tradition. Tradition. Tradition that negates freedom of action is slavery. I'm confused, Mona. I'm confused. You know what? Maybe I should just leave. Leave? Why? It's not your fault. If I need time to process this new information, and I cannot do that here. Please, 
Don't leave. Stay with me. Polisa. I'm not angry at you. But you need to sort this out with your father. I'll be back. Please. Stay with me, Mama. Who is there? My prince, is Chief Chigas here? Come in. My prince, madam. Chief. Can this wait? It's a matter of urgency. Go on. She stays. It's about the king and his heel health. What about it? The chiefs and the kingmakers are worried about the fate of the kingdom if your brother becomes king. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, you see, I'm not a man that regards sentiments. Especially when the future of the good people of Amanri Kingdom is at stake. I still don't understand where this is going, Chief. You see, your brother, Prince Jidena, has proven unfit as a man and as a king to rule this kingdom. And as the heir apparent to this throne, He's already in line to succeed your father should this sickness claim his life. My father will not die. I see. My prince, these are the possibilities that might define our future in coming days. Believe me if I say that I share the desires of the good number of the kings, of the chief that you become the king. Get out. You and I know that you are best fitted to succeed your father. Um, I'm a man who is 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 you already have a good support base. I said, get out. I can have you hanged for this treason. My prince. Baby, it's okay. He's gone already. Did you hear that? Yes. And you don't have to agree with whatever he says. He's madness. I had a hard time selecting those, but no regrets. I'm glad it's worth it. So, what do you want? Because I know you didn't just shop for days just to impress me. I want to take you out for a drink. I really want to stop the bad blood between us. 
You know, you're too beautiful to always stiffen your face every time you're around me. That being said, drinks? Hello, Chief. Good evening. Um, this is Munachi, Prince Solis's betrothed wife. Oh, the beautiful princess. How are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you, sir. Oh, this is an August call. Oh, yes, it is. I have a very urgent matter I'd like to discuss with you. What is that? Um, Prince Solis's right to the throne. You know, I share your sentiments. That Prince Olisa deserves to sit on the throne, not that his irresponsible brother. But I know Olisa is a peacemaker. Olisa would never contest his right to the throne with his brother. Please, Chief, I need you to help him. <laughs> ah, this is the best news of all week. This is proof that the noble first impression of you is right. And is certain you will make a great queen. Thank you very much, Chief. And as for your request, yes, I already have a working schedule on how to make Prince Olisa the next king of Amari. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Hey, don't worry. We'll talk about that later. Eh? Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, I can't see what. Who's there? That is Jidena. Dad! Come in, son. Dad? Good evening, Dad. I hear you were missing at dinner. Uh, I had an outing. With another foolish girl? Do these girls enjoy the lies you tell them or you make extra effort to keep them flocking back? <laughs> well, you ask that I find a good one. And I think I have. That's interesting news. I guess so. You did take our discussion seriously. Yeah, Pops. Thank you. So, who's this girl? Where's she from? For now, all I know is that I love her and I want to get married to her. That's all I need to know. It's barely a month your 35th birthday. Yeah, Pops. I want to meet that girl. Done. Done, Pops. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I want to see the king. Why are you keeping me waiting? I can't allow you access. The chief asked you to wait here. Please be patient. I don't want to hurt you. You will hurt me. Me. Chica. Try me. Go ahead and try me and see if hell will not break loose on your stupid heads today. Go and tell the king I want to see him. I have an important message to tell him. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Let the young lady through. Huh? Is that the way to treat the guest to the king? Where are your manners? Young lady, sorry for keeping you waiting. Eh? Come, you'll see the king. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome. Young lady, please sit. Thank you, Igwe.
she requested to see you, my king. Mm -hmm. She says she has a message for you. Okay. What is this message? The father of my son abandoned us. I am here to seek respite. Mm. See, that is a matter for council of chiefs, not the king. Pardon me, your majesty. The father of my son is your son, Prince Jidina. I'm curious to know what kind of girl you are. You don't give up easily, do you? I really want to know. You sounded so confident. That's because I am confident. <laughs> so tell me. You know what? Just calm down and take your time. A flower unfolds in layers. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I give you a week, yeah? You will come begging for a kiss. Oh, that's never happening. Ever. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only a matter of time, you'll find out. You know, my my father wants to meet you. Your what? How? And what did you say to him? Well, I just told him how serious I am about you. Why did you do that? You must be out of your mind. Yes? Hello? Are you there? Hello? The king calls for you. <laughs> my fingers are really twitching right now. Put them in eyes. Let me call you back. My father wants me. What do you want here? So you do know her? I used to know her. And the child she claims is your son? That's ridiculous. That child is not mine. Jidena. You're just famous for the wrong reasons. Do you want me to start spilling your dirty secrets? Huh? You're evil. Ah. No less than you for trying to pin a bastard on me. Uh, language, Jidena. Dad. My son is not a bastard. Uh, quiet, both of you. Where do you think you are? Your Majesty, I propose we do a DNA test. Since he declaims the child, science will prove if I'm right or wrong. You are willing to submit the child for a DNA test? Yes, Your Majesty. Are you willing to do the test? Why did you refuse to abort the pregnancy like we agreed? Hmm? You kept it till a time like this to latch onto money that you never worked for. That all she wants is money. That's all she wants. My daughter, what do you want? All I want is for my son to live the life he deserves with his father. That's impossible. Quiet. Well, if my request is not granted, the whole village will hear of the evil your son did to me. Are you threatening your king? No, your majesty. Good. Now go home. Come back tomorrow. 
by then we would have decided by then a resolution would have been reached on your situation i give you my word Will this ever stop? Dad, that girl is a thief. You brought this upon yourself. And whether you accept it or not, that child will live in this palace. Or we risk the name of the royal family trampled in the mud. <gasps> that girl has a loud mouth. You sure do have a sour taste in women. But uh, this, is, this, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. What is it? We need to talk now. Please come in. No, right here. I'm listening. It is obvious you're trying to pull some stunts, but I don't care. Okay? Just tell me how much you want. You think this is about money? Ah, then prove me wrong. Why did you wait this long? Huh? Don't insult me, Jidina. Listen. Stop trying to ruin my life. Just when things started to come together for me, boom, you show up out of the blues. What is it? Ruin your life? You ruined mine three years ago. Have you forgotten? You married me. You gave me your ring. You proposed we would be together. And then what happened? Three months after, you've traveled to Poland. I left for school. I traveled for school. You could have told me. I was carrying your child. Listen, all that marriage bullshit, I don't care to know, okay? I was drunk and clueless. I did stupid things I shouldn't have done. <laughs> well, those stupid things have come to haunt you. You will not walk out on me. What is it? Hey, what's going on here? Get out. Out! You hear from me? Ahmed. Okay, you loving this? It's firm. Nice one. So, um, 20 bags of cement will be brought in tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, and the, the other thing I told you about, that room facing... Yeah, so you have to take care of that too. Hmm? Uh, let's see. Okay, that will be all for now. Get back to our guys. Thank you. Well done. seeing you here. Are you okay? Shouldn't I be? Titi, what is it? How is your son? Oh. You heard. You're a prince. I'm sorry. What I don't understand is why you would try to kiss me when you know you have a wife and a son. Titi, she is not my wife. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. I have work to do. Titi, wait, please, calm. Just hear me out first. It is you I love. What happened between us was, was in the past. I don't care. I don't. Jidena, you have a family. Focus on them. Forget about me. No, 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 no. Titi, don't, Titi, don't do that. Titi. Open the gate, you fool.
Get the dog quickly, please. Look, you all better do the jobs you're paid to do here. I don't understand. Why will I be outside waiting for so long? Huh? What rubbish? Come there. And are you still standing here? Get my bags from the car, quickly. Please come here. Send for me. Come. Sit. Join me. I'm fine here. You don't look too good. Having girl trouble? I asked to meet the girl you want to marry. She broke up with me. Hmm. I see keeping a half-decent girl is intense work for you. Dad, if you haven't allowed that lousy market woman into this palace, I'll still be making wedding plans. Are you putting it on me? Yes. For once, Dad, accept the blame. You believe the words of a strange girl over mine, your son. And I wonder where that puts me. Start drinking. Get out of here. You don't order me around. I said, get out. That? She didn't know. You need some rest now. Eh? Thank you, Titi. Thank you. I mean, what demon possessed you to drive around this late? I walked. What? You walked down? 
Are you out of your mind? Titi, my life is falling apart. I don't even know what to do. Sad thing is, I started drinking again. Same thing I promised myself I wouldn't do anymore. Titi, I failed myself. Don't say that, okay? I'm here for you, okay? I just need you to focus on yourself. Focus on handling your responsibilities of being a father and treat the boy's mother well. My father wants me to get married before my 35th birthday. Why? I don't understand either. I, I don't know if he'll be able to survive this illness. Or maybe his wish is for him to see me get married before he dies. I don't know. These are just speculations. He's never been this ill. And I, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm losing him already. Come on. And I failed him as well. No, come on, don't say that, please, Jay. Please, don't say that. Jadena, the truth is, in my heart, I know I sincerely, truly do love you, but I, I don't think I. I'm ready to be your wife. Please, just meet my father. You're welcome, my young lady. Why am I not surprised? The intelligent project manager and my free willing son. Perfect fit. Don't you agree, Chigozie? Yeah? <laughs> yes, I do, Your Majesty. <laughs> May I please speak with the young lady alone? Yes, Father. Yes, Your Majesty. I'm very well, sir. How is your health? I, I still have some time. May I plead your indulgence on the matter? <laughs> what is it, sir? Marriage dinner. You're the best thing that's happened to him. See. I see how well mannered he is around you. I know this, as I'm certain he loves you. You see, a man bends only to one he trusts to scratch his back and not stab it. You are that person to him. Please marry him. Um, this is a huge demand, sir. I know. But I promise you the full backing of the royal family. We will support you both till the end. Okay. I will do it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for honoring me. Now you can run along. <laughs> Go and meet your man. Thank you, Your Highness. Is it going well?
Chief, what's the emergency? Prince Jidena is set to marry Titi. Titi? Who is Titi? She is everything we don't want in a wife for Jidena. She has her head set in the right quarters. And that will make Prince Jidena to be worthy for the throne. Yeah, I guess that's it then. You want to back out? Chief, it would be foolish if we don't. Is the king aware of this titty girl? Yes, of course he is. D does he approve of her? Who wouldn't? He approves of her. Chief, I think this is the best time to back out. No, 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 no. We wouldn't have come this far to back out. To... See, we need to do something. Maybe find something to pin her down. Maybe her past deeds. Yeah, we, 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 we could check her social media handle, you know, stalk her, check for leads. You think you can do that? Explain, let me... Never mind, Chief. Huh? Just leave that to me to handle. All I need is a full name. <laughs> I've always trusted you. You have always shown a very strong character for a great queen. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Can I sit? You own the place. <clears throat> Chica, I'm sorry for everything. Really, I am. I don't want to cause you any more pain. That's why I've decided to accept my son and be a father to him. Are you drunk again? I'm not drunk. This is me. This is Jidenna. I just want to do right by you and get done with all of this before I get married. Married? Yes. Married to a lovely woman. Jidenna, I am sorry too. All I ever wanted was a chance for us to get back to the way things were between us. You remember, don't you? I do. I do. The white nights, drinks. Chica, stop. Stop. All of that is in the past now. We can make an exciting future together. The three of us. You, me, and our son. Chica, I have moved on. My heart beats for someone else now. But like I said, our son is now my responsibility. Collins, I don't know why your number keeps redirecting me to voicemail. Well, I have a wedding in two days, so you better hit me up as soon as possible. We've got a wedding to plan. This is not going to work anymore. No, no. I don't want you this, anymore. This has to work. I don't no, want you. No, we have to sit our differences. No, 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 no. I'm done with this. No. I'm done. Hey, please, please. hey, no, no, no. hello. 
What's going on here? Who are you? Should be asking you that. Just, just leave. We talk about this later. No, there's no way I'm leaving this place until we finish our conversation. Who is he? No, he's just someone I know. Really? <laughs> someone you know? You're my wife. What? Uh, no, 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 Jelena. We are getting a divorce. I'm not getting a divorce. I am done with you! <sighs> Jelena, I'm sorry. I should have told you this, but this is what I meant when I told you I wasn't ready. I'm sorry, please. Stay away from me. No, no, no. Jelena! 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 So this is why you've been acting strange. Are you pleased now? Stay away from me! Stop this telling is why me you've around! Been strange. You keep you. telling me you're spoiling things for me! Just go! Jelena! Jelena! <laughs> <laughs> My king. My king. You chose today of all days to be naughty. And you should be sick. <laughs> You should be moved by my sincere attempt at romantic poetry. <laughs> my king. <laughs> Come in. Ah, my king. The queen. Uh, she goes, they can this wait. I'm busy with my queen. My king, I'm afraid it's rather important. Go ahead. May I have more private... What is this rather important matter? My king, it has gotten to my ears that the chosen lady betrothed to Prince Jidena frolics with a secret lover. Titi? Yes, my king. That's impossible. Then, what's this rather appalling news I hear? That I'm leaving town. Son, these decisions only solve the wounds. I've already made my decision. But where will you go? Back to Europe. Son, wait for me in my courts. Let's discuss. That my mind is already made up. Have the guards monitor him. This then that goes nowhere. That's my king. Chief, these sneaky visits have to stop. Ulisa is beginning to ask questions. No. Not anymore. I have good news for you. Good news? <laughs> yes. Good news. Your husband, Prince Olisa, will by the end of this week be crowned king. How? <laughs> Leave that for me to worry. Eh? All you need to do, go home and begin to rehearse the coronation speech. <laughs> You're on your way to the throne as the next queen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Still no sign of him? No one seems to know where he is. And have you checked his regular spots? Bars, brothels. We have swept everywhere. Still no sign. Prince Jidinaj cannot just disappear. Or did he make the Europe trip? No. I still have his passport with me. <sighs> Let me check one more, please. Okay. I'll be back. Have you found my son? 
Not yet. Send all the gas to the streets. I want my son found. What is this? Make sure of. Higwe. 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 Higwe, come look. Higwe, look at me. Ah. Everything is under control. Idina will be found. Higwe. Help! God! You are alive. You are alive. Dad. You are feared dead, not me. Where is your brother? Still nowhere to be found. I'm certain he's alive. Intensify your search for him. Find you there now. King dead? Oh no! Hi! Oh no, the king is supposed to be dead by now. She's been working with me. I paid her to return to the palace. Okay. I just want my balance. My job is done. Your job is not done until I said it is done. So what do we do now? We kill the king. Uh, 
as the last resort. No, no, no. This is weird. I suggest we just abandon this ship and return to our lives. Don't speak like a fool. Your husband is the rightful heir to the throne. And not that half-witted slowpoke. And for the interest of my people, the order of the king does not deserve a fool to be on that throne who will be there to obliterate its legacies. I would rather die than see that happen. Have you even considered Ulisa's position on this matter? What if he doesn't want to be king? A vacant throne will help his decision making. Moreover, he will choose serving his people over sentiments. Oh, don't you want to be queen? <laughs> no, 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 not anymore. Not anymore. You disappoint me. Look, the king's life hangs on a very thin thread. We are not doing him a favor. You people want to kill Igwe? What is this boy doing here? What are you doing here, Uchi? I asked you to wait in the car. I've been waiting for you in the car. I didn't see you. I had to trace you down here. I hate everything you said. Oh. And the king must hear it. Oh. Don't be foolish, boy. Pay me to keep my mouth shut. Uche! I've not been paid for releasing you to be used in the first place. Okay. I will pay you all the money you need. I'm not cheap. I have enough money in the bank. Chief, are you sure about this? We need to pay this boy to keep him shut. So that this secret can remain in this room. This boy needs money to be quiet. God, Jitaina. Hey, can we talk? Titi, I still love you. You're the reason I came back. I'm sorry, but I'm, I have to leave town. There is nothing here for me anymore. What about the project? I handed it over to someone else. Titi, please, do not leave on my account. You don't get it, right? This is not about you. It's about me. My life, my peace. I need to find something fresh and exciting. I mean, another chance to a better life. You made me better. I need you. I, I love you, Titi. And I'm happy for you, but... My time here is up. Please, let me leave. <sighs> Listen, Jelena, I know this is tough on you, but maybe this closure is what we both need to fresh exciting part. Well, <clears throat> thanks for everything. Thank you, 
unity with you, my heart was touched with true love. And I do not want to forget that feeling. the road to the bank now. Uh, this is the shortcut. Hmm? Ah, ah. This battery again. Eh? Please help me go down and check. Ah, ah. Fine. You have the artist to enjoy day. <laughs> but mom, I'm, I'm just nervous. Nervous? N no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. 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 That food was poisoned! Jirina! It's fine, Dad. The food was poisoned. What do you mean? Chief Chigo's here. The snake. And Chica, they all connived to murder the king. What? Igwe, it's true. I heard them with my own ears. Didena, what are you talking about? Ask your woman. Is it true? I was only employed to cause a stay in the palace. Killing the king wasn't my idea. It was Chief Chigozie's and Muna's idea. I never agreed to it. Shut up your mouth, you fool! It was you who poisoned the food! My God! Muna! How? How is this even possible? You are to be my wife. Why do you want my father dead? Talk to me! Who's this? Why are you? Why are you? Dad! My king! Arrest these traitors! Please, please, please. Oh, please, your majesty. Please, your majesty. Please. Take them away. What's going on? What's going on? Help me out. Help me out. My God. What's going on? What's going on? Father. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you imagine? They wanted you dead. Thank God. I trusted you like a brother, Chigozi. I know my brothers. I have no regret. The kingdom comes first before any man. What exactly did you hear? That I would die if Jidenna is married by his 35th birthday? Or that the princess would die if Olisa gets married before Jidenna? And you just went to work like the devil you are. Plotting and scheming. Little did you know you were wasting your time. When that day came and passed, without me dying, I sought answers. Diezemo revealed to me that Jidena sold his wild oats and married a girl on one of his drunken nights. That foolish act of his was enough appeasement for the gods to spare my life. 
I've been a generous king and a good friend to you, Chigozie. But your evil, your evil deeds will see you to your early grave. I have no regret whatsoever. Everything I did, I did it for the best interest of every indigenous of Amari. They deserve to enjoy the fruit of a prosperous system. The one that our fathers have fought for. The people of Amari will forever be guided by the light of our fathers. Not a selfish rebel. God. Bring him here. Take him away. to have the best time with you. Uh, me too. I love you. I know you do. Thank you. 